The Texas Star Tournament. It's the biggest fishing competition in Texas with about a million dollars in prizes, and I'm signed up. Dozens of tagged redfish will be placed in every bay system up and down the Texas coast. Every angler will be looking to catch that one tagged redfish. Last year, we gave it a shot and caught a good number of reds, but failed to catch that tagged redfish. The difference this year is we've got strategies. At the time of filming this video, zero tagged redfish have been caught. And oh yeah, there's also stuff like the gaff top division, which we might have to delve into too. Before we head out to the water, we're hitting up the tackle shop. We're going to Dick's Sporting Goods. And the thing is, since we're going only for redfish, we're gonna be able to use some things that we usually wouldn't use because I like to catch trout along with redfish usually. But if we're going just for redfish, like today, that opens up some different interesting baits we can use. Well, it seems like Dick's cut their fishing section in half, man. They barely had anything really. But I think we still got what we need. First up, you know, we got some gulps for that popping cork. We also got some spinner baits. Just in case we can't find that better water, we'll be throwing these out in that, that little bit dingier water, making a lot of noise with these guys. Got two of those suckers. And then we also got the classic gold spoon. And then our vehicle of choice, the mini boat with the big motor on it. It is pretty windy out here. So it's gonna be it's gonna be some fun, but we gotta get out there when we can. It's gonna be sporty. That's the word of 2022 so far is sporty. We barely had any days with low winds. Wow, first crank. All singing low while I pop a bottle off a yacht, chain swinging, clang clang, and it costs a lot. Bitch, I'm always at the gala, yeah, man. You are not bad as me. Keep on going till you hit the spot. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bad dumper drop a low. Mama called me and she happy with the grow. Never ever yeah. fall for a party that's a right. All right, you gotta have a plan for these things. We got two rods and a net, and here's the game plan. What we don't need is to catch a bunch of reds. There's spots I think we could go catch a bunch of reds, but here's my game plan. It's pretty smart. We just have to catch one red, and where I think, my guess, they're dropping off these reds is mostly in channels and, and around marinas. So we're gonna fish right off the edge of some channels where it sometimes holds reds, but those reds that recently dropped off, they might be just right on the next flat, and that's what we're doing. Water's not terrible, so we're going in with the gold spoon. Half ounce, it says. Half ounce. Got some big old potholes here. Right next to the channel, boys. I mean, if you've been to Corpus, you know exactly where I am. Ain't, ain't no special spot, and that's exactly why we're here. It's a very common spot. Gotta get in these guys' heads who are dropping off the fish, you know? They're not gonna wanna go too far with all of them. They're just gonna drop some off right at the marina. You know, right off the big bridge, why not? First thing we're gonna try, we're gonna try right next to the channel in these these are some nice looking potholes uh, and then after that if we're not seeing any bait we're not getting any bites we'll move deeper onto the flat where there's definitely some bait R gold spoon obviously is a absolutely killer killer bait for redfish but when you f first start casting it in your beginner you're like what the heck is that that looks like nothing i'm not going to get bit on it but once you build a little bit of confidence that might have been something right there once you build that confidence you realize it, it's a great bait Holy, that's a jack, dude. That's a f shark. That's a huge shark. Holy, what? We might not find any reds here. How is there not a red right here, dude? Oh, timing. That's timing. Holy cow. <laughs> that's timing. First fish, it's a red. A little bit smaller guy. Woo. I'm not sure what size they're tagging, but I, I, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I have no idea. They caught, caught this guy right off this island. That's something you definitely find about redfish. You can fish a lot of the same stuff, and it always seems, it seems like they prefer to be around some kind of land structure, even though this is not really even land. It's just it's a little bit shallower. <laughs> Speaking of land, can I land this fish, this LG? Well, no tag on this man, but we definitely know now the spoon is working. Pretty little guy, as they all are, right? Pretty little guy. See a big fella? I gotta make sure to inspect all the fish pretty well. Could be a sneaky tag, you know? You don't wanna make that mistake. <laughs> See the tag when he, you're throwing them back into the water. 
So with this spoon, what we're doing is we're zinging it out there. We're trying to target these potholes, trying to cast on the outside of the other side of the pothole, then bring it through that pothole. And basically with this water depth, I'm kind of straight retrieving it with a couple pops in here. The pops are just to give them something to react to. Sometimes you do want to let it kind of sink and flutter down, stopping the retrieve. But uh, with this, we're pretty shallow, so don't want to let it get into those weeds too much. There he is, fellas. That's our man. That's our man. That's our tag up redfish right there. The spoon. He might be. He might be. He might. I, man, we've drifted pretty far now. Finally hooked up. It's gonna be tough. This drift speed, man, to get this fish in. Oh, no, there he is. Excellent. Excellent job landing that man. Excellent job. Look, look. He's tagged up, fellas. He's tagged up. I promise it's not grass. What if it was grass? Or it was a tag and I just threw it away? Any tags on you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Any tags on you, big fella? Yeah. He's tagged up for sure. No, he was not. We also dunked our reel, but we're in here now, boys. We're in here. We're about to slay some fish with tags, multiple tagged fish. Just believe in something, fellas. Believe in something. There's a, oh, there's a bite, but probably just a pinfish. Nope, that weren't no pinfish. That weren't no pinfish. This is a bigger guy. That weren't no pinfish. Oh, wow. Holy cow, oh, there's two. Yeah, this is the issue. Catch a decent red when you're in the wind drifting. It's gonna be tough to get that man on the medium light. We'll get him though. Come on. Surely I tied a good knot. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That is a really nice one. Wow. Wow, man, that's a big one. That's a big fish, man. He's tagged up. Just kidding. I'm gonna be doing that a lot, fellas. <laughs> are, you, are you ready for it? We should get him here. Nope, he don't want to be got. No. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Sheesh. That oh, boy, not easy to land. Worry. Nope. Double check check around him. No tags, no tags. Just more of that grass. <clears throat> Bam! That spoon sticks in him, huh? Well, triple check, no tags. Just grass. See you, fella. Let's try the spinnerbait real quick. It, even, it'll give him even a little bit more presence than the, uh, the gold spoon. Plus, it'll give him that soft plastic on the bottom, which May entice the bite even more. Now we try the spinnerbait. See what happens. Ah, all right, let's try it out. Good thing too, the spinnerbait is half decent in this uh, floating grass as well. It doesn't cast as good, but it'll it'll get them. See. It'll get them. First, why does that always happen, boys? Why does that always happen? You grind with one bait, switch baits, and you get bit first, very first cast. Insane. Why does that always happen? I ain't complaining, but damn, that's crazy. First cast with the spinner bait, that's crazy. You can see the spinner hanging out of his mouth. Just, ooh, that's a better one, huh? That's a better one. That's a better one. Hell yeah, dude, spinner bait. Spinner bait action, that's a big bass, baby. I might get the net for this one. Oh, just to make it easier. That's a big boy. Come on, come on. There we go. In the net. Ah, oh, that's, that's a heifer, isn't it? That might be overslot. 
and I'm not seeing the tag. Oh, look, he's got a spot way up here. That's cool. That's a fighter right there. Oh, look, a spinner bait fell right out of his mouth. We'll take it though. Uh, spinner bait is now my favorite bait of all time for some redfish. Nice red, dude. You would think he would be like a 35 incher from how we fought. Just barely, barely under eight pounds. That's a nice one though. No tag, unfortunate. But man, that was a fun fight, huh? 20, it's only 27 incher, dude. My new favorite bait right there, the spinner bait. I like that white on that too, sticks out like a sore thumb. It's not realistic, but uh, you don't need super realistic for a redfish. You know what, you wanna know something funny? I did a one day one lure with this exact bait, the Redfish Magic spinner bait, and I kinda killed the reds that day. And I liked the bait a lot, and then I don't think I went on to ever really use the bait again. But now I'm learning, it's pretty damn good bait for reds, man, pretty damn good. I got hit right there. I don't think I got the best hook set though. That should be good though. That should be good enough. Little guy, little guy. Look at this clear water, man. Pretty damn clear right here. Water's so clear you can see if they have a tag or not. Oh, and he does not. The boat flip though. Two fish on the spinner bait. One big guy, one smaller guy. Nope. I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bear dumper drop low. Mama called me and she happy with the grow. Never ever fall for a body that's a oath. Don't lie to me, fellas. A lot of you guys were thinking I'm a noob for buying those spinner baits, but man, they they do catch noobs because it, it looks like an interesting bait. They call it redfish magic. A little bit silly, but man, they're actually very good for redfish, and I'm loving them. There he is. This is LG. This might be a trout. It's either LG. No, oh, that's a that's a trout, dude. Ha! Nice. That's a nice trout. Holy cow! On the spinner bait. Don't shake it, bud. I kind of want to measure you. Skitty boy, but. Got some length to him. Putting on an advertisement for this spinner bait. I was telling you, man, look how long, but how skinny. Wow. Almost 21 inches. Dang, almost a 21 incher on the spinner bait. Woo wee. <laughs> All right, so we didn't win the tournament yet. We did not catch that tagged redfish. The interesting thing is, as of today, the 19th, only one tagged redfish has been caught. Usually they go a lot quicker. Now we're a little bit further into the tournament. Our early strategy did not get them, even though I think it is a good strategy. We're gonna be moving on to different strategies since we're getting a little bit later in the tournament. And trust me, I've got, I've got some good ones coming up. So we're definitely not done going after those tagged redfish. Hey, I know a lot of you doofuses. You've been watching for a long time, you're not subscribed. So if you like this video, you wanna see more, please subscribe. I'm telling you, man, I got the strategies for next time. I love you guys very much. We'll talk to you guys next time.